Oh, would have been the only one on the board. Oh, oh, never even thought about that. That's a great point. That is a great ass point. Never even considered it. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. I am All right, your we know we know the play. We're gonna get a faceless man. A faceless man. Anytime I see this and this, I'm like, you could be a 7-7 seven seven if you tried hard enough in school. Why Reno range. This, this matchup. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Think about it, huh? Think about it. All right, he's just gonna life tap. He's like, he's like too ashamed. He has no idea what to do. He does not know even what he is doing, right? Like right now, we are in a position. Put this apple on your head. Oh, this deck, this deck struggles versus the power of the seven sevens from heaven. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Dragon eight. Save our mother Earth from any alien attacks. You know the rest of the lines, boys and girls. Yeah, for any of you who are wondering what Billy Esquire said to me, that at first I was like, nope, couldn't work, and then he just re-explained, and I was like, yep, absolutely, you're completely right. <laughs> Which is that um, the eerie statue can only attack if it's the only creature on the board. So when I faceless man er, manipulated one of them, I could have shadow flamed the new one, killing it and everything else, which means my original eerie statue would have been the only one left on the board. But you asked me to play the sack play. Shields up, red alert! Oh, baby cat! Hi! Come here! Come here! Yes. It's snuggle time. Ah. Uh. Oh, she's purring. Yes. So many possibilities. Oh my god. If you don't know the lyrics, it begins with one guy. Cat dad loves you. Some vicious giant sheriffs who have once again come back. My shield for Argus! Very good, very good. Is it a good time to Shadow Flame? I think the answer is no. Yes, yes, yes. Here's the thing, is that we, we have Faceless Manipulator here, so we can always kill a Doomgird. Have you ever done any work on changing your voice for one reason or another? What do you mean by changing my voice? Like, I hate my voice, I don't want to sound this way. <laughs> you don't know my voice. I'll go ahead and just dig a little deeper here. Second shadow films are really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Anytime I hear myself, it feels really weird. Here's something that I... I I'm gonna say this, and this might annoy you as much as it annoys me. I hit my S's really hard. Anytime I listen to myself, all I hear is. Get in there, fight, maggot! I also talk with a big open mouth. That's what I hear when I hear myself. That or do a voice type work or when you wouldn't have for something like transitioning? Um not exactly. I think the big thing is that I it, the biggest thing I've tried to do is to try to eliminate bullshit patterns. That's a big thing. 
very simply like uh and um I really don't do almost ever um I uh, wonder uh, uh. <laughs> try to limit those a lot no it can't be Um, a lot of them in casting, I spent a lot of time trying to eliminate it. It was just a ton of fillers. Hmm. Mind if I roll me? Something like this. Words like right there. And pleonasms. Basically, I'm trying to eliminate pleonasms. Pleon a, a pleonasm is any word or collection of words or phrase in a sentence that if you remove it, it does not change the meaning. So, for instance, I just knew that he was the killer. Can be cut down to, I knew he was the killer. Words like that and just... Just as one I still use a lot. Hurts me, hurts me so hard. Uh. Summoning portal open. is big. Can you spell that? P-L-E-O-N-A-S-M. Pleonasm. That's a good one to face this manipulate. If he doesn't kill this, we're gonna have a really good next turn, because I can silence it and face this manipulator this. Good. Great. Good. Good. All day. Give me your stars! Shine him 222. What is that? Yeah, I mean, like, and, and, and as I was trying to eliminate as many pleonasms from my speech as possible, I found I had to pay a lot more attention when I talked. I don't think that's true for other people. Miss Lethal? Oh, wow. Not a very good turn. Not a very good turn. Not the best turn. One of the worst turns. Subpar turn. Accidental BM. Well, at least I got 100 bits from Netherwolf. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna sleep on the box? It's a great idea, Sheriff. Let's see if she meows back. Sheriff, meow! Despy! Hey, we gotta take her. To save our destiny cat from any alien attacks from vicious giant meowing that has once again come back. Speaking more slowly, another really important thing. And I think it's very easy when you're talking to want to get to the end quick. Or when you're just making any point in general. Oh, look at this one. Orange, you glad you push Shadow Flame in the deck. What do I think of the cheering system in Twitch? I think it's awesome. I love the cheer system. This what a douche monster. This is gonna be tricky. It's not gonna 
gonna stop much. That was just an insane, insane, insane hand. Gul'dan versus Malthurian! I must protect the one. Your soul shall be mine! Do I get a portion of the cheers? Yeah, I get 100% of them. I'm so scared. Yeah. Any bits you send my way, I receive. Hip hip hooray. Kitty, don't touch that. That's cat dads. Don't try to eat that. That's a dollar bill. That that's a screw. That's that's for computer parts. That's the same screw. Oh, you can look at the screw from the other side. That's pretty exciting. And we're already in good shape, though, because, like, he didn't get his, like, Mondo Mega Giga turn. Yeah, 100% of bits goes to the broadcaster. Um, there is the cut that Twitch takes when you initially purchase the bits. I have made almost no money off the bits since they have been released. <laughs> I think, okay, hold on, let me look it up. $52.60. Oh, boy. Ugh. Not right, guys. No. Ugh. You want to do that? I'll do that. Woo. Yeah, I don't really talk about or promote. I tend to be a non donation y sort of person. Quips, he says, wait a minute, you get 100%? I'm like, oh my god! Oh, 500 from Quipsy, 1,000 from Nebel Wolfie. I am ready You're to safe. learn. I am ready to learn. This that? Let's do this. I'm going to save my Mother Earth from any alien attacks. Makatra says, would it be a correct assumption to assume you'd be moving no away from the dimension? May very well be the case. Play this for three, we have three left, and it wouldn't be enough. Hmm. I feel like I really do have to clear this. Hmm. 
that that kind of hurts. But it's okay. We're gonna get we're gonna get a big guy. Damn token druid deck. Damn token druids. That helps a little bit. So let's see if I do this. Oh wait, it becomes zero? What? Oh my god, I could have had a huge turn last turn. Why is that the interaction? Oh, come on. Oh, that's bad. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. It meant everything would have been free. I could have played, like, my whole hand out. See, I like that it says, but not less than one. I'm just gonna savage and kill me. Why is that the one he spawns? Probably because he just has it. Maybe he just has the bits. That's a good one. So I don't want to get too much lower. Still kill us with swipe and the roots. I don't want to life tap because then I'll just be in swipe range. It was Thorson. I mean, I know it was Thorson. It's just weird that the Emperor effect would be applied after that. Cause that's weird, cause it, it, cause I thought that like if Emperor triggers, huh? Left to myself. Good, a wind fury guy that can't attack. Let's kill him. Nice. Uh, let's find things. We really need him to shoot himself in the face. That's not good. I do have to do this. I'm gonna have to just go straight greed. My engineer for beer, hello, welcome. A natural mistake. Yeah. These token druids are painful. Painful. It's okay though, we have a trick up our sleeve. Also, it's in the middle of but I can't remember what I was talking about. Should be swiped all down. Yeah, basically, I felt like what I could do is use my big sweeper to clear the board and have a 3.34 in an ancient. And that was it, and just be pulling one off the top. But I kind of feel like I had to dig a little bit. Okay, so. There's a lot of dragon warriors out right now, so I'm going to be a little careful with my Shadow Lord Pain. Oh, that's such a good opening hand. <laughs> greetings. Well, greetings. I love this card, because there's so many mid-range-ish type things. And Priest just has, like, this insane hard removal. Like, not a lot of the classes have, like, super insane hard removal. I mean, you have, like, Hex and Polymorph. Um, you have the Shield Slam and the Execute from Warrior. His are, like, great, too. But, I mean, the Deaths and the Entombs and the Mind Controls. Great. So I want to make it work. So if this is just a traditional Control Warrior, I think there's very little chance we can lose. 
Oh, I remember I was talking about, um, yeah, Emperor Thorsen, because I thought it was like, if my thing costs five, and then I play Thorsen, the cost is now officially four. So if I had two summoning portals out, it would take that four, reduce it by two, to two, then try to reduce it by two again to hit zero, but go, oh wait, no, it's at one. Apparently that's not how it works. Apparently it goes in the opposite order? Which is like, really odd, uh, like I don't understand that. Yes, right. I would kill the 2 too, but I don't see a reason to. Exceed StarCraft just subscribing. Uh, well, welcome to my thing! So apparently, if Thorsen reduces something from 5 to 4, it is not a 4 mana card, it is that it is a 5 mana card that after all effects are applied, reduce that cost by 1. Should I? This does not look like it is a it is a warrior that is going to be dragoning me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm now going to do this, and now I'm hoping for a shadow form that will take me. I can absorb a little damage from his axe because he'll almost certainly hit me, which is fine. Guess what I'm doing after the show? I have a date to do a little 2v2 Rocket League. 2v2 Rocket League is so great. I think we're against a deck that I can't beat. See, I'm gonna wait because, I mean, I, I have like a billion points of healing in this deck, so I can always go low to get a bigger board to use an Excavated Evil, like, very safely, especially now that I'm getting to like turn 6 7. I have a question. I, I don't know if there's any like top Rocket League pros. I don't know if there's any literal world champions watching the show right now, but on the sides, you know, so here's his goal. And then on the sides coming in, if the ball is rolling along the side like this, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to do. I really, 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 truly do not know what to do. Like, I don't know whether to just let them hit- me. Oh my god, Nebel Wolfie! Jesus! Oh my god. Oh. This is a world for- As someone who literally has had no way to provide him donations for years. Now the cheering has come up. Nebel Wolfie, the very first person. 5,000 bits. My god, Nebel Wolfie. Because I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna give shoutouts to every single person who does it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna do that. This is a channel about playing Hearthstone and messing around and talking about random nonsense. But my god, Nebel Wolfie. Getting the big blue. I got the big red cheer gem in JP's channel. I'm proud of it. Mind if I roll need? Sunder says, I'm a Rocket League expert. See the key. So try and identify the oaky notes and rosy tones of the ball. That's true. That's part of the reason why I always use a charged hammer when I play Rocket League. I think 
I actually want to do this to slow down is Megadron. So I can actually run out the Twilight Dark Mender. This deck does not really run a, a lot of executes. So I can actually Dark Mend my way into a good position. Maybe I'm going to run out the Crazed Worshipper first, and then I can actually use Cthunimance. I can awaken him too thin. What is this huge gash doing on my finger? What it's been you, Sheriff. I think it's just hurting. Depending, uh, if he like... And then if he battle rages, like, I'm just not gonna hit him for armor. I'm pretty sure this is the Worgen. Worgeny warrior -y. Yeah, this is this is a Worgener. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to run out. I'm gonna do this, and in the very next turn, I'm gonna try to run out the Twilight Dark Mender. Oh. I think the nerf raging worgen or charge spell? Probably not. This deck is particularly slow and grindy. And I'm priest, so I don't have any ice blocks or armors or any stuff like that. Some of the non subs wish to know if you're gonna do any more Brewer videos. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking so. Do you like to play with fire? Please use an execute. And then execute. And then execute. This is 100% the Wargunner. Could be a Cthulhu deck, but I haven't seen any Cthulhu dudes. What console game do you want ported to PC? Castlevania is something of the night. Um. This, this, this could be huge. The fact that I was able to get that lower the heck lower down. And if he, if he can't, if he can't kill that. God, my finger really hurts. You really, you really hurt me pretty good, kitty. By the power of Ragnaros, I have the power! I think you know, I think we did it. This deck does not run Brawl. That little brand down there. What is that doing there? Why is that the first spell? Brand, say live one time. Thank you, Brand. Make them huge. That's not good. There it is. Give that minion wind fury. <laughs> Just keep them going. No, no, don't do that, baby cat. If he organs me, then he deserves the win. Your nightmare begins. 
<laughs> That's right. Sorry, I was wrong. I thought this deck didn't run brawls, but what it runs is a yog that runs brawls. Oh, man. Saran doing in that deck. This is like against Wargun. This is the sort of deck that actually has like an almost 100% win rate against. This is placed. You know, if our if our good if our good guy didn't get a mortal strike as his final thing, he would have been donezo. So we went down a rank. Uh, we've had some like really weird games where like <laughs> that game or the Infina Tokens uh, Druid. And that was bad, sad, bad. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to listen to some music. And we're going to come back. We're going to Shadow Priest our way all the way back up. We're literally going to go four wins in a row. Mm.